بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم على نبینا محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو لحبت فی اللہ In our study of Shara Sunnah by Imam Babahari Rahimallah Ta'ala, we've been studying the Itikad or Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah and what it necessitates or what is a necessity for those who claim to be adherents of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah to believe. What is their aqidah? What is their creed? Who is, who is Ahlul Sunnah? What is their creed? What do they unite upon? And what do they attempt to attain? All of those things are addressed in this phenomenal treatise by Imam Babahari Rahimullah Ta'ala. Illustrating for us the importance of the athar, the narrations of the Salaf of this Ummah. And before that, the importance of the Kitabullah, the Qur'an, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and adhering to it, reflecting upon it, implementing it in, in uh, one's daily life. And understanding and implementing the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and not having doubt in it. Understanding it, contemplating, reflecting and implementing it in one's life even if it goes against your particular intellect or what seems to be the trend in your society because the success is from Allah Azza wa Jal this is the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and that we don't restrict ourselves there that these the text of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the speech of Allah azza wa jal, His divine, perfect speech which is contained in the Mus'haf, which is in the Qur'an, must be understood by the athar of the Salaf of this Ummah. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala said, What is known by necessity for the one who reflects upon the book and the sunnah, and what the Ahlul sunnati wal jama' agree upon, from all the different sects is that the best of the generations from this ummah in its actions, its statements, beliefs and in all other good virtues are the first generation then those who came after them then those who came after them as is established from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from many different narrations and that the first three generations are better than those who came after them in every single virtue in knowledge, action, iman, intellect, deen, clarity, worship and that they are foremost in clarifying every problem and this is not rejected except by the one who is obstinate to what is known from the deen of Islam by necessity and Allah has misguided him away from knowledge. Allahu Akbar. What a profound statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Illustrating the importance of to being of those who tamasik fi kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa fahim as-salafa hadhi ummah to understand and to reflect and realize that success is with the salaf. Success is with following the salaf. I know there's so many preachers today that tell you otherwise, that say so-and-so has such a great tafsir, it's even better than the Salaf. So-and-so has understanding and insight, and it has more fiqh than the Salaf. And this person is so good in his mannerisms and his humbleness, and he is better than the Salaf. وَعِيَاذَ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلَكَ No one understand أَيُّ الْحَبِّتِ فِي اللَّهِ If you hear statements like this, understand it is مَبْنِيَّةٌ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ It is built upon falsehood. It is built and surrounded and encompasses falsehood in its entirety. Why? Because the Prophet Alayhi Afdal Salatu Wasalam 
خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said The best people are those people of my generation Then those who follow them Then those who follow them So ayya lahabbati fillah I'm encouraging myself first and foremost to come back to the religion of Allah, make tawbah to Allah, and follow kitab Allah, with sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the understanding of the salaf, that when all of these new issues arise, all of these shubahat come to us, people are speaking about this one, people are acting like this one, people are doing this action and such and such action that we refer it back to the book of Allah and we refer it back to the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah and may Allah bless us with tawfiq wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam